Really and truly, we need to start behaving like crewmates, not passengers on Spaceship Earth. Probably the most important part of my background was the fact that I was a NASA astronaut. I had the chance to fly in space, uh, to live and work on the International Space Station for over three months. Although I will say it doesn't take three months for you to realize this, uh, that first view out the window, even though you know it's gonna be overwhelmingly beautiful and all of that, I think that something about seeing Earth as a planet that's your home from space and recognizing the fragile nature of our atmosphere that blankets the planet, that's the thing that's protecting us from the deadly vacuum of space. There's nothing more compelling than that when it comes to understanding the fact that really and truly we need to start behaving like crewmates, not passengers on Spaceship Earth. Over 50% of the information of the data we need to solve our planetary challenges like climate change are coming to us from space-based systems. They're able to measure the pulse of our planet. We can watch our planet breathe through the information that we're getting back and it's, it's the critical information that we need to solve our problems. I would love it if we could have all of the leaders get into that that place in space. If we could have them floating around with their little heads bouncing off each other, looking at Earth as the backdrop, oh my gosh, I think they would be compelled to really put into action the things that are necessary that we have the power to do to create a future for all life on Earth that's as beautiful as it looks from space.